Hotepu. All praises to the Makut and the Nekuru for everything you do, making all my dreams and wishes come true. I love you. We back with another one, family. In this video, we want to talk about the origins of Christ. Where the Christ comes from, what it's talking about. Right. Get a proper perspective of things. You understand? We're going to be real brief with this. The word Christ, right, comes from the Latin word Christus, which comes from the Greek word Christos, right, which comes from the ancient comedic or heretic word Karasti, which means the anointed one, right? To be more specific, it means the one with the Ka of Re. With the soul of Ray, the soul of the sun, right? So, when you have the soul of the sun, you gain what's called a halo, which comes from Helios, right? The Greek word for the sun, right? Halo, Helios, the same derivative of word, right? So, a halo is a sun, right? The soul of the sun, the anointing of the sun in the sky. Right? That is a Christ. Now, the word Christ is not even the Hebrew word for Savior. The Hebrew word for Savior is Messiah. I'm going to learn you some. I'm going to work for The first Messiah in the Jewish scriptures, the Abrahamic scriptures, which is Judaism, Christian, and Islam. The first Messiah is Moses. Moses was the first savior of the Jewish people, of the Israelite people. Do we know that? How do we know that? Well, what does the word mash mean in Hebrew? Coming from the committed word Mess or mesu, meaning born of or drawn out of. We go back to Moses, family. Moses was always an African name. Moses is not even a Hebrew name. Who named Moses in the scripture? Moses was named by the daughter of Pharaoh, the princess of Egypt. He was never named by his mother. He was named Moses. Because he was drawn out of the waters. So what does mash mean in Hebrew? It means to draw out, particularly the waters, to draw out of the waters, right? Moses, but Moses is not a Hebrew name, so it's not, you know what I'm saying, a Hebrew origin. So we have to track that origin back to the hieroglyphs. If he's being named by the daughter of Pharaoh. So when we say mash in Hebrew, we're taking that back to Mesu. Uh, 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 Amasu or Yamasu, right? Born of Yah, the moon. Uh, Thutmasu, born of Thut, which is Thoth, Jehuti. You know what I did? Uh, 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 Ramasu, Ramasu. You did what I'm saying? Born of Ray, the sun. Etc., etc. Masu means drawn out of or born of, as does Mash in Hebrew. So when we say Mashiach, Mashiach means born of or, or drawn out of Yah, which is the moon. Check me out, fam. It's the moon, right? So not only can you be born of the sun, you could be born of the moon. You could be born of the waters. Hell, Masu. That was just uh, an attachment to names. You know what I'm saying? You had to be drawn out of or born out of something. So we always see this uh, 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 this word attached to, you know, other 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 words to form a name or, or, or you know, things of that nature. So it will never just be Moses, right? It always be something Moses or, you know, something like that. Even when we say uh, uh, Mansa Musa. You know, Mansa Musa means born king. What does Musa mean in the Mandinkan tongue? Musa, which is coming from the same derivative of heretic tongue. 
right? Hieroglyphic tongue, the Musu, uh, uh, Musa. It's coming from Masu. Mansa is the Mandinkan word for king, right? He wasn't Malik Musa, he was Mansa Musa. He was the Mandinkan king, family. You see what I'm saying? You say Muhu Musa, which is one of the Niabingi queens, right? Queen Muhu Musa Ugandi. Who is Muhu Musa? What is Muhu? The Muhu tree. The tree of YCT, the tree of Isis, my G. You understand? Uh, uh, you know, the Mahuhu tree, which is uh, a form of sandalwood, African sandalwood, you did what I'm saying? Uh, which is used for its, its strength and its, and its sweet, you know, fragrance and what have you. Uh, the Mahuhu tree, Muhu Musa, born of the Mahuhu tree. Right? Musa, once again. So we we'll say, uh, 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 Messiah, right? Messiah is a comedic word. When we say Christ, coming from Karasti, the Kavre, these are both comedic words, my G. These are both African words. You understand that uh, uh, originally did not exist because these people had no tongue. So it originally did not exist in the in the mind frame of, of Jewish people. They didn't know. They didn't have these words. And if they did have these words, they acquired these words from people that had these words, family, for, for hundreds of thousands of years. They had these concepts for hundreds of thousands of years, family. Real spit. Worshipful. So when we say Christ, Messiah, let's go to Judaism, right? The Jews don't consider Jesus to be the Messiah. The reason why is because they have a saying. He who knows doesn't say. And he who say doesn't know, my G. So anybody that will come along and say, hey, this is me. Hey, that's him. It's bullshit. You're a charlatan. You understand? You're a charlatan. You see? Because he who knows doesn't say. He who say doesn't know. So even if you were, you wouldn't say. You don't let the actions speak for themselves. Right? So when we keep these concepts in mind, we have to know the true origins of these things. You understand? And to... To the Jewish people, you understand, to, to, to continue. Anybody could have been the Messiah. Anybody could be the Christ. In the African teachings, anybody could be the Christ. It wasn't one individual that you was waiting for, a uh, 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 certain somebody. No, it was any motherfucker that attained that anointment through their life. You understand, through their studying. You know what I mean? Through their meditation. You know what I mean? And a lot of it had to do with your sperm and your chastity, right? Your holy uh, 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 retention, your semen retention and shit, which is a big topic these days. You understand? But that was an ancient topic that's been talked about from ever since. You know, did uh, the oath for men, you understand? Uh, you know, et cetera, et cetera. You know, we've been talking about that shit for years. You understand? So a lot of it had to do with your sperm. You understand? And with the, you know, with the things you did in your lifetime, you know what I mean? That, that showed and proved that you were who you were. Not who you say you were, but you were who you were. You are that you are, you am that you am, my G. You understand? And people will see your good works and glorify your father, which is in heaven, because you let your light shine, which is a halo, which is the sun, my G. You understand? So on that note, we're going to leave out with this. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. 
Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. More worshipful.